Hey, I'm Kev KM. Welcome back to MotoGP 80, where my home at Donald is like a duck to water in MotoGP. After a fantastic victory in just his second race in the class, he leads the championship heading to the Circuit of the Americas in America. And before we go there, we've got some development to do. So we developed the brakes, they're pretty good still. So suspension, frame, aerodynamics, or the engine. It's not really bumpy, is it? Round Kota, maybe not develop that. Maybe the frame, because there's lots of corners around there. Maybe that could help. Plus, we haven't really developed the frame before, so there you go. Lean and stiffness up one. That's our most developed component for like the first time ever. So here's Mayo for the first of two possible qualifying that saying qualifying one. As he got to beat Espar, goes to a 3.8. Around a very difficult circuit, and he's breaking ridiculous early for the first corner. But it's so easy to outbreak yourself. It's better to break earlier than late. It's almost losing their end through the fast right, and now the yes, S is very difficult. You get them lined up right, especially if you go too quick in one part, like we did there. Now well, just got to calm it down a bit. This is a tenth up, though. On the circuit where it's he's not had the best of luck in the past. But he has been quick. He's got down all, all over the curve, got pushed wide. That's why you don't carry too much speed into a couple of these corners as well. Some of these curves are devious. We go down the back straight. Almost eight tenths up though on a Spargro. That's why, as you've seen, tougher opponents, the toughest opponents in the world. And he's outbreaked himself by a country mile. So there goes those eight tenths. For the first time, he might actually have to do a second lap in qualify one. Because this has not been a good lap at all. There you go, three tenths down. Now the final set of this kind of reverse turn eight. Once again, clip inside the inside curve, just forced the bike wide. There's no real grip in the surface. It feels like the bike's just sliding across the top of it. It's the final corner, just a bit wide. And he's top, but just. We have to do a second out just for insurance. You can do much better than that opening up, no doubt about that. Let's go for the right, just a bit wide again. Just keep all these curves like this. Don't take too much curb. And this is a long right hand away, he just hit that apex, so he came too much speed in the second part, but he's a second up. That's more like it. Now through the left, careful on the power. Especially downhill through the kink, rear end can really get away, got to watch out for that, especially later in the race. All the way down to first. Managed that we in as he's still a second up, so he's lost a tenth in that set to it still. Ahead of his own time. As he just about gets it through the left hander. It's all Spargo to a 3.2. Maybe distracting Mario there. Still seven tenths up though, despite the mistake. And now Petrucci Pedroza with a 2.5 Hello Danny, welcome to the season. Do for the penultimate corner, get on the power. So easy to outbreak yourself in these last couple of corners and to lose that front end as well. 
We go towards the line, second for Mario. But he sneaks through alongside Pedroza with Petrucci missing out his teammate. But just a couple of tenths, then we've got Power Spargo on the KTM. Pretty decent qualifying for him. Way ahead of his teammate Bradley Smith. There's his brother on the back row alongside Cal Abraham. Oh dear. And Mario's just got one that matters now in qualifying two. Let's see if he can be anywhere near to Dobby's tour 1.7. Nicely into the first corner, a bit rough on the power, a bit of a wheelie. But not smoother through the right. And look at the bike change of direction beautifully through the S's. It's almost losing the rear end getting on the power though. As he's five tenths up apparently. And not a personal best. A bit sudden, qualifying one. He's got the Suzuki in front where he's zoomed out. Actually might give him a bit of a toe on this back straight. It's once again a bit of a wheelie. So here we go. Approaching over 200 miles per hour. He goes into the braking zone down the inside. Done that Zuka to get out of here as well. Well, you've done your job disqualifying that. Only eight tenths up now. Not bad for Mario. Let's now go through this reverse turn eight. Now the penultimate corner. So difficult to hit the apex, a bit blind. And then the final corner. As you say, right towards the line, 2 minute point nine. You might owe Rims or Iannone dinner there, has Mario grabs another pole by almost eight tenths ahead of Dobby with Marquez in third. Then it's Rossi, Rins, and Zarco, Crutcho, Vinales, and Iannone. And on the fourth row, Lorenzo, Jack Miller, and Danny Pedroza. What an amazing qualifying from Mario in qualifying two. Did not expect that. Well, maybe we expect to win in the race. So here's Mario revving up on pole. Has it brought it down though for the race? Has we get underway for six treacherous laps? Mario with an average start. Dobby with a fantastic one as usual. And Marcus down the inside. Turn it. Upset the Ducati loving. And this other Suzuki got a good start as well. It's Mario trying to join in in the lead battle. Down the inside of Marquez. Oh, Marquez down. He's lost it. Might have been very aggressive early on. They caused Marquez to make a mistake there. And he's down the inside of Dovi. No fear. His first time in these conditions in on MotoGP by, but he wouldn't sink it from this opening that. This old Dovi fights back around the outside. And into the hairpin. Mario back down the inside. Shores to get on the power, but holds on as Tita are back back with a show countryman for the final point. And we're back Tista. But it's Mario leading down the back straight, but here comes Ducati Power. On Ducati Power. And what Mario just outbreaks Dovi. So it's wins battling with Mavic for nine is over eight. That's all Mario hit the curb there. Maybe slowed him down a bit. Got Cal Crutch on fifth battling with Rossi. Got Dovi nicking to the inside of Mario. Not quite working out. That's all he got is a bit wide here, Mario. Where are you going? Managed to catch the bike. He's back down the inside of Dovi into the penultimate corner. 
a fantastic battle between the Ducati pair. It's just the opening that. Oh, Mario's outbraked himself though in the final corner. But he leads across the line onto the second out of Eno in third. Sarko fourth, Frosty, Crutcho, Rins, Vinales, Pedroza, and Petrucci. And here comes Ian Oni through with his foul Dovey. Mario back by into the S's. Clonks the curb there, but somehow survives. It's never win a MotoGP bike with these settings, but in these conditions. But he's fought back through into the lead as Mark is in 23rd. After forwarding on that opening that, we'll have to see if Mario had any say in that or if Marcus just made a mistake. As well, Dobby back by through the kink. Oh, Dobby down! Under braking! No, just a bit too much brake trying to outbreak Mario. And now San Marino rider down to sit. And it's just going to dive bomb everyone into the lead. Yes, I'm having a committee meeting over who should lead. Oh, it says none of that. I'll just take it, shall I? He's got Mavic Vinales behind me. He's got the Yamahas down the prowl. And Cal Caracho up there. And his LCR Honda. Not the Honda you expect. Let's here comes everyone barging by, maybe. And here comes one of Mario's teammates as well. Wanting to join in. It's going to the final corner. It's all very tight. It's two, three wide. We go across the line. So Vinales leads ahead of Crutcher, Ian Oni, Zarco, Petrucci behind, along with Pedroza, Rins, Rossi. And Miller rounds out the top 10. All of the Premat guys in the top 10. Oh, down to Sith. Following his teammate through on Zarco, is he? So go to warn this third lap. For Petrucci, maybe some revenge for Kata, you never know. The man trying to find his way through in the Italian. Finally does. Does he? Oh, he's hit some curb. Got into Zarko to go three wide. Petrucci wants to make the move. Not quite. Not even through the King Kaida. And Mario's still trying to get through on Zarko. Just relentless. The action here. As Vinales takes the lead from Crocho with Eno and he just sitting in third. Not getting involved for once this race. As he reach over 200 miles per hour braking heavily. He's very tight left hand over. Tried to dive for the lead, and it did not work out. Down to 14th. Still in the points, but he's got some work to do now. He's going to the second half of this race. He's already made a place up on Rabat, has he? Now the Avinto rider gets back down the inside. Not for long, though. No. Then McDonald just down the inside of... Is that Baptista and Espargo trying to settle their differences? There's Dobby back into the top ten with McDonald right in his tail. Then you go into the second half of this race. It literally is anyone's race. Look at it, it's just a train up to first. Unbelievably close this field. 
These unpredictable conditions. So the rain is always a great decider, a great levier of rider skill. Let's see, here comes Mario back down the inside of Dovi. Got Pedrosa in front battling with his old pal Lorenzo. So McDonald onto the curve, gets into Pedrosa. No! That one can be leveled at. And Mario. As he tries to work his way through the field. And he's already up to eight. As you've got Mark Marcus and 11 battling with Paul. As we head Pedrosa to the McDonald hit list. Let's move a bit more cautious into this left hand and out. But Rossi hung out to dry, it looks like. Now McDonald back with so hard going Petrucci already. So you remember me, boys. Definitely will now. Is where you go, Mario? There's a corner back there. Stays ahead of Rossi. Back up to seventh. Once again, too much curve there. Taking lots of curve, Mario, in these conditions. Don't want to be doing that, really. He's back where he effectively was before his crash, though. He goes down the inside, it's the mate in the final corner. Petrucci's gonna love that. As they go on to the penultimate lap, Bernardo still leads, so as Mario set the fastest lap. As he tries to get into the top five, down the inside of Zarco. Tech three man gets the exit. Mario gets the next right hander, so back up to fifth. As he's got, is that Suzuki boys in front? Brins and Ian Oni. Brins not giving it up easy. Mario almost losing it. How does he start right? And then through the king, very aggressive. Scott Redding battling with Pedroza, poor Danny. Another victim of the Mario Express. Let's hit for some good points. He might be still be able to salvage a point with how tight this field is. Mario breaking very deep. Gone a bit wide. He's definitely lost out to Ian Oni. Has he made the move on Rins? He might have to give that up. I was sure to say nothing about that. Surprisingly. But no, he has given it back to Rins anyway. So he's into the top five. Still in with a chance of victory. Especially if he gets an exit like that, he gets a superb run on Rins into the penultimate corner. Not quite working out. How about into the final corner though? Oh yes, nice. Has he gone to the final out? Vinales, Crutcher, Ian Oni, McDonald and Rins. It has been a mad race. And Mario in, back into the podium places. Not quite. But into the next right, he does. Takes it from Ian Oni now. It's Crutcher. Vinales is trying to get away at next like in the lead. Mario pretty good in this first sector. All over the back of the Englishman trying to grab an on the light. Keep holding for LCR. Now trying to grab another unlikely victory. He gets past Caraccio into second. He's all taking loads of curve. Makes he wins every time, but he gets away with it again.
There's Mayo on the back of Inales. Seven tenths though. So it got too big even with Ducati power down this back straight. It's Jack Miller out of the points. It's into the left hand and not close enough to make a dive. It's for the first time Dovi Vinal is at MotoGP level. Because he's seen him battle cousin Isaac in Moto2 recently. Maverick a very different proposition though. And the Yamaha, so you've had the pace in that sector. You know how strong Mayo is in these last couple of corners. Into the final corner. Is he close enough? Make a dive, not quite. Maverick Fernal is rins in Kota. Mayo gets a boat of the spider fall. What absolutely crazy race. It does get wild when it gets wet, doesn't it? As Finales wins by just half a second ahead of McDonald, you set the fastest up by a country mile. The only guy into the 208. But due to that fall, can only grab second ahead of Cal Quattro. What a podium for the LCR rider. Ahead of Iannone. The wins in fifth. Sarko sit. Petrucci in seventh. Dovi recovers to eighth. Ahead of Rossi. Marcus gets the top ten. Ahead of Lorenzo. Espargaro. Bapto, Baptista. Pedroza grabs a couple points in Tito Rabat in the 15th, grabs the final point ahead of Sir Hafi Sirin. And it can further down like a gun round out the top 20 and Xavier Simon at the back. So in the Riders Championship, Mario extends his lead ahead of Dovi to 19 points in rather controversial fashion. Though taking out Pedroza, having a clash with Marcus, maybe on the opening up with Dovi when Dovi tried to out break him down the inside as well. Well, for Vinales, what a what a result that is to really kickstart his season up into third ahead of Zark, even though they're level on points. And Rossi in fifth. Marcus down to sixth. Crutcher, the big winner, though, up to seventh into the top ten. Same for Ianoni. Lorenzo drops out of it down to 11th. Same for Jack Miller. Pedrosa down to 13th. Tito Rabat down to 16th behind Baptista. There's only 16 rise score points so far this season. And in constructor stand, Ducati lead by just nine points now ahead of Yamaha with Honda in for comfortably ahead of Suzuki, very comfortably ahead of KTM. Priya yet to score. Then in the team's championship, of course, Premac are leading at 27 points ahead of Yamaha with Ducati down to a third, then got Suzuki in fourth. And the Retzel Honda team down to sit for the score further down. Only 10 teams have scored points. Grassini, Mark Vidias, and LCR Honda for Nakagami yet to score. Has a lot of reputation and development points. So Mario's reputation increased to maybe first rider status after that. As he showed once again, he's got the pace on his teammates. Just needs to keep it a bit cleaner maybe in future. As once again, we're going to be developing something. As a part from MotoGP in Moto2, it was a fantastic race as Mark, Alex Marcus, shall we say, finished ahead of Bagdaya and Oliviera, Mark's brother. And then in Moto3, it's Jorge Martin ahead of Bezeki and Bastianini. It was definitely a Spanish day here in America. And so we began with some bike development, so maybe we should end with bike development as well. 26,000, so we could develop the frame once again, or we could improve suspension, or maybe braking. Because Mario did struggle a bit with the brakes, maybe. So, once again, just prevent that locking. And we can also develop the aggression, increase the braking power. So, you go brakes nicely developed, same for frame. And next up for Mario it is Spain. It is a visit to the Yango and Echo circuit in Jerez. Can Mario somehow grab a fourth consecutive podium to begin his Moto GP career? Find out next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.